Welcome, folks, back to the Call of Cthulhu, where we last left a poor investigator who has barely been involved in the last investigation. I just wanted to steal things and I got dragged into it. Well, unfortunately, you're involved now, so. God damn it. We return to our good old friend, Edward Died. He died. He died indeed. And good sir, you were not at all involved in the last investigation. No. Nah, Which means that you get after. you get three months of downtime. Two months well. from between the uh, investigation you were in and the one that you weren't involved in, and then one month afterwards. So you get three months. Great. Well, in this time, um, I would have done multiple things. Firstly, we've been stealing more shit. Ah, you will have been. Uh, Working, my trade. Working, yes. I, I think yeah. the term there was working. <laughs> working, yes. So, of course, after stealing my things, I would be selling them off, meaning I would be raising my, uh, trying to raise my bargain skill, getting better yeah. deals. Right. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, and after the tomfoolery that um, happened with the group, mm. I would probably be trying to raise my martial arts skill, like trying to, or rather, my grappling skill. I should Your say. Your grappling. Skill. Well, yes, I would like to start raising grappling. Well, I can tell you that uh, pretty much what's going to happen from these three months is I'm going to give you various um, checks on on skills. Mm -hmm. You, of course, are going to get a check on your bargain skill, so I shall see how much that raises by. Mm -hmm. Well, good news is, is it indeed raises. Fantastic. It goes up by six percent, which means your six. bargain is now forty six. Sure. Okay. Your sneak skill is also going to get a check. Oh. Which will also go up Ooh. from 70 to 75. <laughs> okay. This is, a good, this, is, this is turning out to be a good uh, three months for you. <laughs> good start. Your spot hidden is now going to get a check. I don't see this going up. No, that is not going up. Your conceal <laughs> is also going to get a check, and that is also not going up. Yeah, Your locksmith is also going to get a check. That is also not going up. Shame. You wanted to improve grapple? Please. What's the base stat on grapple? Base stat of grapple is 25%. 25? Okay. You are not going to be at 25%. Oh. Are you focusing on training grapple, out of curiosity? Uh, it'd probably be my main point of everything. Like, I'd do bargaining on the side because of job working, and I'd be doing some other stuff, but from actual training perspective, yeah. You're actually grappling. just focusing on training grapple. Well, in that case, you're going to gain more than just 1d6 in this skill. Your oh. starting grapple skill is... 39. Sure, okay. You spent a long time just practicing and training in that. Is there anything, else you, want, anything else you want to focus on at all, or are you done? Well, with stat-wise, no, but I would have liked to start looking into who the hell those um, men were. I'd ah, yes, the mysterious assailants that you were uh, ambushed by. Yes, and found me hiding under a bed. Well, your first... You go... Basically, your first... Um, two months or so of that doesn't really yield anything. Mm. Because for some reason, for all intents and purposes, this group disappeared entirely after that uh, house was damaged by explosives. Considering but, one of them was a foreigner and the other one was like a mammoth woman, I'm very surprised at this. Oh, it's the uh, investigative group, yeah. As well. Yeah, yeah they are... Um, they... You, you don't really manage to track them down... Mm -hmm. And you can't track the other group down either. Returning back to As that well. um, yes, damaged house it. doesn't yield anything. It's a crime scene for a while, which means you stay away. <laughs> and course. after it's not a crime scene, it's sold off and uh, people start developing it. Yeah. So there's nothing interesting there. After two months and about a couple of days, though, mm -hmm. things start appearing in the paper. Oh. Which you uh, start looking at. You you noticed for a while that in the paper there has been uh, disappearances of uh, workers in the red light district just disappearing. Ah. Okay. And wow. it was a bit unusual. And then it was um, all of a sudden all of the papers go into a uh, fury of printing about a uh, a group of criminals who had been discovered. But in a police sting operation, and um, mostly killed in an ensuing firefight and cave-in wow, okay. that had been uh, kidnapping people and killing them. Huh. All in the um, by the 
the docks district there that place was. Interesting. Okay. Not a place you've gone to very often. No. Hmm. How interesting. Would I be able to um, look into this at all? Yeah, yeah, you could certainly go and have a look. Um, mm. The warehouse is, in fact, still the uh, the city is still there. You can have a look. Yeah, I'll go have a gander, see what I can find, because well, they might be related in some way. Might be. You approach the um, you approach the um, warehouse itself. It, going at day, going at night. I should be going under cover of darkness. Keep it in darkness. Ah, fair enough. Being, uh, being sneaky about it. Well, I'd rather not be found with my pants down, so to speak. Well, you are presented with a warehouse. Okay. It's got a front entrance and what looks like areas going off to the side. There's two doors. There's a big double door and a smaller door to the right. Okay. And there's there's en- there's ways going around the building. Okay, uh, I'd like to quickly scout around to see if I can see anyone around, if there's anything I should look out for. Mm, spot hidden for me? Sure. Uh, 1d100, yes? Yes. Trying to get 20. equal or under. 20, was that? 26. 26. No, you don't spot anyone. The um, There is a police cordon, but it doesn't appear to be being guarded right now. Hmm. Okay, well, in that case, I would like to sneak my way in and take the small door on the right. Make me a sneak check. Sneak check. Oh, fuck. Where is it? Number one. Zero. Oops. There we go. 37. 37. You sneak up very carefully to the door and find, if you're going to check it, Yep. that it's locked. Ah. Uh, locksmith, then. Locksmith roll for me. 14. Easily uh, pick the lock. There is no problem at all. You are presented with the interior of the warehouse itself. A dark area... Full of, uh, well, actually not full, only slightly full of boxes. Okay. Uh, there aren't many these... boxes there. Okay. Uh, are there any boxes nearby? Uh, the few. You do notice that there is a um, blood splatter that has been um, surrounded by um, a chalk outline mm. Charming. in the middle of the room. There is also a, uh, a stairway in the corner. <laughs> oh, God, the infamous stairway. Yeah, um, in the, in the yeah. north. The... Forward and left in that corner, there is a okay. stairway leading up to an office and a door leading that way. Well, in that case, I'd like to slowly make my way through, keeping my eyes out for anything suspicious and so on and so forth. Oh, keep my eyes out for suspicious. Spot hidden check for me, then. Sure. 62. Mm-hmm. Yep, so that's a pass. That's a pass? Um, yep, yeah, 88 on spot hidden, so... Ah, good. In that case, uh, when you get about halfway into the room, mm-hmm. you spot that you are not alone in here. <laughs> Who else is there? Well, when a flashlight is aimed at your... When when a uh, light source, is a lantern is aimed at your face... Ah. It's a policeman. Ah. What are in you doing case... here? Right. I, I wish to uh, fast talk him quickly and say, Oh, you're right, mate. I'm coming here to change some um, shift with you. How are you doing? Okay, that's going to be a bit of a difficult fast talk, considering you're not dressed as a policeman, so I'm going yeah. to wager that is a half fast talk. You have to get under half your fast talk skill. Okay. Yeah. Which means you need 35 or less. 80. Nope. No, he is not buying this. Ah. Stay where you are. Sure, I can do that. He reaches for a gun. He's approaching, but he's not drawn it on you. He's just reaching for it. Ah. Um, shit. <laughs> I say, um, look, the real reason I'm here is because I'm, an, I'm a reporter for a, for the local newspaper. I heard about a couple um, murders and we need to get some more background information. Spot hidden roll. Sure. Uh, 70, so yes. You spot a figure emerging from behind the policeman. From behind a box. A tall figure. Do I recognise the figure? You personally? Mm. No, why would you recognise them? Oh, okay, no mind. Just curious. They're approaching from behind the police officer. The police officer has not noticed yet. I look over at the figure and say, um, Sir, have you... Who's that? Oh, actually, no, I'd rather say, um, Sir, are you alone on duty tonight? What business is that of yours? I wish to point behind him. Oh, I'm not falling for that. 
You think I'm gonna fall for that? What's on over there? Turn around and you run off? Uh-uh, I ain't keeping my eyes off you. I roll my eyes and say, would you rather I walk around you so you look behind you? Persuade roll for me. Sure. I don't have persuade, I don't think. You don't. I think the base for persuade is pretty low. I got 15. Hmm, that might actually be enough. Let's... Let's have a look. Well, I need to actually find the uh, the book first. <laughs> All this, and I didn't even get the book out. <sighs> so terrible. So unprofessional. I know, terrible. It's almost like someone's phone going off mid-recording. That's never happened before. <laughs> nope, never. Never happened. <laughs> anyway, persuade. You got 15, you say? Mm -hmm. Uh... That's actually exactly a pass. <laughs> yes. That is exactly a pass. So you're going to get a check on Persuade for that. Yeah. Oh, you're also meant to get, a, 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 I think, a check on Knife, but we uh, forgot that because I've got right. it in brackets here. So we'll do that oh, no, afterwards. that's something I picked up. Oh, the man was... turns around, mm -hmm. perhaps just curious, to see a figure approaching him. Um, I... He doesn't hesitate and draws his pistol Pointing it at the man. Stop where you are right there! At Don't this, move! At this point, I'd like to take out my concealed shotgun and aim it at both of them. Do not, I'm not going to mention this to the policeman, but I shall oh. hope they're ready. Oh, good. We are right now. The person doesn't seem to listen. I'm warning you! I'll shoot! The man instead attacks. Would I and be rolls to... a one. Ah, Who's he attacking, me or the policeman? Not you! Uh, Unfortunately, good. you get to see the man, the policeman before you, pretty much be instantly beheaded. What? With a clean strike from an from a massive fire axe. Oh, good God. <laughs> I wish to fire my shotgun You wish now. to roll a sanity check. As well, okay. D116. 16. Uh, you will suffer one point of sanity loss. From seeing this policeman pretty much be beheaded before you. Jesus Christ. Yep. Standing before you is a figure armed with an axe. So yes, I fire my shotgun. You're going to quick. fire your shotgun. Mm -hmm. but, uh, for point of reference, this figure is tall and very strong. And looks to be in his sort of 30s and very angry. Roll ah. me a shotgun roll. Twelve. Twelve! Right. Uh, roll me some... I will roll you some damage. Sure. That is definitely a hit. How far away is he out of um, uh, curiosity? Not too far. Would you like some good news or some bad news? Uh, give me the bad news. The bad news is he doesn't fall down. Good news? You hit him. Oh. Right. Amazingly, uh -huh. you not it's probably just because he's quite literally extremely tall and muscular, but uh -huh. you shoot him with the shotgun. You think some of the um the pellets mustn't have actually hit. Uh -huh. Because he is not down. He is he cries out in pain, but uh -huh. he's not down and he's rushing you. Shit. Would I be able to get a, another shot off before he mm, reached me? No, you won't. He goes before you. Ah. He goes before you, and he's going would to. I... Mm -hmm. I was going to say, would I be able to run away at this point? Not until he, he leaves... goes. The only Shit. thing you can try and do is dodge. I would like to try and dodge then. Well, you're going to have to see if you're hit first. Shit. Oh yes, this man most certainly hits. Right. Uh, what is? You don't have the dodge skill, do you? No. Uh, it is twice your dexterity then. You're trying to get twenty-four or lower. On a I got D100. 17. 17! Right. In that case, you do in fact dodge. Oh, good. And he's right next to you. I wish to fire my shotgun into his bits. <laughs> no, I sh shotgun him in his, heart, um, in his chest then, I suppose. Hmm. That close, it might actually be a little difficult. He's right next to you. Shotguns are close range, aren't they? They are, but this is... Um, what kind of shotgun do you have? A general run-of-the-mill shotgun. Uh, a uh, lot conceivable. Of a long shotgun. shotgun, then? Or is it a sword-off shotgun? I'd probably say sword-off, considering it's concealable. Hmm. Okay. 
shoot. Okay. 44. 44. Roll damage. Uh, what is damage 46. Again? 46. Mm -hmm. Do I get a plus 1d4 for my damage bonus? Well, unless you're whacking him uh, in the okay, face yeah. with the shotgun. <laughs> Being stronger yeah. doesn't mean that you your, your <laughs> pellets steal more damage. Damn, I wish that would... I throw 46. the pellets at him! <laughs> <laughs> ah, 1d4. 46, yes? Yes. 16. Yeah, you pretty much... Well, his stomach is no longer there. Hmm. Well. Is How he, often now, have you done that? I've occasionally done it. Not to the point of not knowing not to vomit at the time. Sanity but, um, check for me, please. Yep. Uh, 38. You lose another point of sanity. Okay. This... This the man does not endure. <laughs> hmm. I wonder why. He falls over in a pool of his own blood. Okay. Dying and soon to be dead. Right. I wish to, um, whilst he's busy dying, I'd wish to keep my eye on him and then go over to the policeman, see if I can find any um, information on him, any like things I can take off him. I would also like his badge. Well, first you're going to have to uh, do a spot hidden roll for me. Well, of course. Yeah. 47. 47. Not only do you spot his badge and his wallet, which mm -hmm. inside has a picture of... Family. Mad family. I knew it. Damn it. They're always married. You spot other figures moving in the shadows. I'm getting the fuck out of here. You, believe that you now believe a bit too late that the person you killed may not have been alone. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Are you? Yes. Right. Um, I would like you to roll me a... Hmm. Four times dex. Four times dex. Yes, you need so... to get equal to or under to four times your dexterity. So that'd be 12, 24... Okay, so 48. 48. 20. 20. Quickly, you grab what items you want. I will uh, say you can only grab... One item from the policeman. Okay, you said he had his badge. Badge, his... his gun, he has his wallet. I'll take the... Badge. Badge, take the badge, you grab the badge, and you start <laughs> running. Yep. You, you run, you bolt straight to the exit. Mm -hmm. You hear gunfire behind you. They are not good shots. Thank God. Darting yes. out, of the, out of the warehouse... And into the darkness, yep. you believe that eventually you have evaded them. On a you, side are, note. you are splattered with blood, however. Mm. Absolutely yeah. covered in it from the uh, point-blank shotgun blast to the man with the axe. Mm. Um, out of character, I just avenged Dunning, didn't I? You may have done so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I shall now use my sneakiness to sneaky sneak my way back home and promptly clean the crap out of myself. Okay, sneak roll for me, please. Uh, 63. Okay. Which is fine, 60, 75 for sneak, so... Unfortunately for you, you do not encounter anybody who could uh, draw suspicion on your way back to the fact that you're covered in blood. Thank God. Because that would have been awkward if you'd have found a policeman while covered in blood. And holding a police badge. You also find, therefore, in the next day's paper, that, um... There, there was yet another incident at the warehouse. No. I know, a um, one policeman dead and uh, one assailant dead. They believe that... Uh, well, at first they believed that they must have killed each other. Then they found there was shotgun Then they found that it was shotgun pellets and that the policeman had been beheaded. <laughs> so they are leaving it as a mystery and encouraging witnesses to come forward. I take it you're not exactly wanting to come forward. Huh, I don't think so. Uh, no. I didn't think so either. I think I'll keep that. About me. this is about say two months into your months of down mm -hmm. of downtime, so about another nearly another four weeks pass, okay. and you've done a successful heist of a small a small house that you've been you've been checking out for a while. You, you've you've heisted it well, and mm -hmm. you, you've got a few valuables, and you decide. You get back into your small abode, close the door, mm -hmm. 
lock it, of course, to make sure no one gets in. As you turn to lock it, you feel a sharp sensation to your head, as if you have been hit. Ah. You go clean unconscious. Shit. Too late, you realise that perhaps someone has found you. But the question is, who? Hmm. You wake up, eventually, tied to a chair in a dark, cold room. Hmm. Can I see anything? There are no... There is only a small amount of light coming from uh, underneath the door, the door in ahead and mm-hmm. a little a tiny bit coming from a very murky window from behind you you think it is probably getting to sunset right you have no, I... you have none of your equipment with you shit um how am i able to um accept your my pocket weapon? knife Ooh, which you, which if they if they which they didn't manage to find the bad news is it's in your shoe <laughs> Shit. Would I be able to wiggle one of my hands free, or am I tied too tightly? Hmm. That would require your choice. Your choice of a three times de- of a uh, three times dexterity or a grapple check. I think. Uh, I'll go with grapple. Seeing it's, it's roll hard. grapple. Thirty-seven. That's a pass. <laughs> it takes you a little bit, but you're like. Which hand are you trying to free, your left or your right? Uh, I am left-handed, so I'll free my left. You free your left hand, after some effort. Mm -hmm. I would then like to reach down and try and take out the knife. As you are reaching down for your knife, you hear the door starting to open. Shit. Your choice on what you want to do. Um... How quickly would you think I'd be able to... how, How thick are the bonds? Pretty thick. These are thick rope. I'd like to um, take the knife, see if I can conceal it underneath my hand, and then pretend that my hand's still bound. That is a good idea. Uh, I'd like a conceal roll from you, please. Sure. Twelve. <laughs> yeah. Easily. Fine. You don't think anyone could find it. You conceal it and put your hand back, sort of loosely in the rope, just as the door opens, revealing a figure. A figure that you recognise. This is a man in his late fifties. Mm-hmm. He doesn't, but he doesn't look um, slightly haggard or poorly shaven anymore. He still. Oh, it's the man from the attic. He still has a slightly unsettling look from his blue in his blue eyes. He's wearing a smart black suit now, oh. a slightly out of fashion fedora, with a slightly off colour to the rest of his suit. He is not looking so innocent anymore. He is smiling silently, confidently. You'll notice uh, he has a dagger in his hand. I look at him and said, considering how we sort of helped you from the house, this is where you helped me, correct? <laughs> not quite, not quite. Okay, then how did you find me? Do you really think you are that hard to find, I Edward? Like to think- Hmm. I'd like to think I'm harder than the average man. True, you were a little. I'm also rather upset that you killed my friend. It was self-defense. He came at me first. Hmm. True. Even so, that doesn't mean I'm not angry. If it makes you feel better, if he hadn't swung the axe at me, I would not have attacked him. I would have, I would have confidently left. Doubtful. But you already know too much anyway. You will tell me where your friends are. Friends? Which friends would they be? Don't play dumb with me. He steps steps forward slightly. I am being genuinely honest, actually. Um, Oh, wait, you mean the group? Yes. I have no idea who they are, if I must be honest. I was stealing from that house at the time. They found me. A likely story, Edward. Why should I believe you? Because do you really think a person like me would travel in a group? A distraction, possibly. A, big, was, a hmm? big heist, maybe. 
Okay, or perhaps you, you know of me. You, or, you seem to know of me. Yes. Or, or perhaps you were not stealing from the house at all. Perhaps you were putting your meddling, meddling selves in places you were not meant to be. Let me ask you a question. You know of me, I assume. Somewhat now. Yes. Um, would you know of any of the work that I've done in the past? Minor burglary. Exactly. So, why would I travel in a group for larger heists when I am content in the way that I work? Well, tell me, what would a former Russian soldier, an English doctor, a professor, and an actor be doing travelling together either? I'll have you there, I have no idea. Exactly. I didn't even know they were a doctor. I didn't know half of them, so... Exactly. I... Hmm. I'll give you that one. Hmm. But the fact still remains. I have nothing to do with them. I have actually been looking to find out who the hell they are myself. <sighs> Likely story. We shall see how much you corroborated after some persuasion. He's coming at me with a knife now, isn't he? No. No? Stepping back. Closing the door. Locking it. Hmm. It's this point I'd like to take my hand out, start chopping away at the dines. You get the sinking feeling that he's probably not going to be doing the persuading himself and that someone else is probably on their way. Oh, shit. But, you know, so, yes, I'd like to chop away at the binds, get rid it of them. It doesn't take you long. It's just a matter of time. But you are free now of the bonds, and you are free to stand and walk about. Okay. Can I, what can I see in the room? Exactly? Okay. In the room is a chair. Mm -hmm. And that's it. There's no windows, no... There was the window at the back. It's a small window. You couldn't squeeze through it. Shit. It's too, uh, it's too narrow. Right. Um, and literally, that's it. Only the room, and that's it. It does tell you that you are in a room at slightly below ground level, because the mm -hmm. window is only just at ground, uh, just above, like, ground level. Okay. Um... It's a barred window. Now you look yeah, closer. That, that'd be why. Okay. Um, I'd like to try the door. Obviously, I'm going to assume it's locked. It is very locked. Um, is there any way I can um, pick it with the knife? Ooh, you would probably be talking about a quarter locksmith check. Oh, God. <laughs> You're welcome to... I would inform you that the, the chance of failure if you fail by a lot is you might break the knife. Ah. Nothing ventured, nothing gained here. Yeah, true, because otherwise I am in a sticky wicket. Right, let me just check my lockpick. Locksmith is 75. So what would a quarter of that be then? Uh, like well, half it, 37. Uh, round up, 38. And then half it again. You have a 19% chance. <sighs> Fuck. So we're probably looking at 19 for success, then anything... Every, well, alone. anything above, above probably won't work, but if you if you fail by a significant margin, you're, like a, you, like your, pocket, your pocket knife will just break. Because you are, you are literally putting the knife in and jiggling it about in the hope that you'll be able to unlock it. Shit. This is more a hope than anything. Yeah, and I can't... Oh, this is... You know, fuck it, yeah, why not? Go on. 20. Oh, that is so close. Nah, fuck. I don't I... think that I'd break it, though. No. You think you potentially could do it. Mm -hmm. Spot hidden. No, no, listen check for me. Not spot hidden. Listen. listen. Yes. Listen. Oh, 12. 12? Well done. You're going to get a check on that. <laughs> Most useless fucking thing. You hear the following sounds in the distance. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's as if somebody has just been alarmed and then shot. Ah. I wish to conceal myself in the corner of the room where um, the do where the door opening would wait. Does the door open to in inwards or outwards? Oh, it opens. Uh, it opens inwards. As in, like when I it would open. So it would open into towards... your room. Okay, so I would like to hide in a corner behind the door. Ah. I would just like to take the chair and put it nearby. Ah, she liked the idea of the starter gun. Ah, bag. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You hear footsteps. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to conceal myself in the corner. They are carefully stepping footsteps. They, yeah, st um, they get closer to your cell. You hear a... 
knock, knock, knock on the door. Ah. I, I, I stay hidden in my corner. You hear and? another step closer to the door. Yes. What? Oh. Is there any? Is there anyone in there? Hello. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, there is someone in there. Who are you? I don't know. These madmen captured me and tried to like threatened me. I don't know what I'm doing here. Stay Help where me. you are. I'll find some keys. Thank you very much. Appears to sound like. He, he sounds like in a. He's in. The voice is unfamiliar to you. It's no one you've heard before. Mm-hmm. The footsteps go away. You're left alone once more. I sit and contemplate. Listen for movement and sounds. Listen for movement and sounds. Eventually, you hear another sound. Another gunshot. It's the same sounding gun. You think it's a point forty five. Nice time. Eventually Footsteps return and the same knock footsteps? and the same knock three times on the door. I knock back. I think I found something that might open the door. Ah, Stop. fantastic. Well, well done. On his check there. He um you notice that he uh, he isn't using a uh, he isn't he's using, using a key. Pick, isn't he? He's using some sort of crude lockpick. <laughs> <laughs> this man good. is a is a man in his late thirties. His hair is starting to grey and is cut short. His eyes are brown. He's about your height. He has a black suit. He's a tall bastard, then. He has a book in his left hand. What's, can I see what book it is? A vaguely... Do you speak... What languages do you read? Just English. You don't know what it says. Hmm. He uh, He's wearing glasses. Mm-hmm. And you notice that hung at his uh, holster to his side is a indeed a point forty five revolver. Hmm. Would I be able to see any bodies from where I am? No. You do see... It does look like you're in the bottom of some sort of house at this point. Hmm. <sighs> I'm happy to see someone alive down here. Uh, so thank you very much. I have. I was getting a bit worried, I must be honest. Wait. Oh, wow, it's you. Me? Edward, right? Mm, who's asking? Fred Milton. A, a cult expert. Mm. And, since you're probably stuck here... Enemy of the Black Knife Cult. The Black Knife Cult would be the men who took me, correct? I believe so, yes. <sighs> enemy th- of enemy of my enemy is my friend, as the saying You're yes. the man who killed Smithy. Yes, oh the big man with the axe, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the ugly bastard he was. Well, dangerous as well. Mm. I'd warned some other people against them, but they refused to listen. And now they're dr- they're messed up in all this. Sometimes. So how do you know about me? Well, it's, um... I have to, uh, say, unfortunately, that you were not very subtle when you went to that warehouse. This is not a conversation we should be having here, though. Agreed. I'd rather not be here very long. Well, go back to my place. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to help me pack. I have no problem with this after you... We're going on a journey. (laughs) What kind of journey and where? A journey which is probably going to save your life. My skin being saved sounds fantastic. Let's go. I'll pack my bags. He, um... He very quickly leads you past a dead person. Mm-hmm. Who'd obviously been guarding upstairs. Mm-hmm. And you're very quickly led out the front door, which he has unlocked. And out to a um, car that is waiting. Fantastic. That he drives. You get the feeling that... What's curious is that that person that had previously tried to interrogate you didn't reappear. Hmm. 
he drives. Yeah. Of starts course. heading off. Well, how much do you know? He says. I know that I got bundled into a stupid house I was trying to steal. Hmm. I got accosted by a Russian man and an English doctor and a very tall oh. woman. Oh, them, yes. And then one of them took a sword and some headless thing attacked us. And then they blew up their house. Oh, which was... no. And after that, I um, decided to look for whatever the hell was going on in that house. I found a warehouse and you know what happened there. Oh, no. Oh, no. I warned them to be careful about this. I told them about the Black Knife cult. I warned them that there would be trouble, but... <sighs> Well, subtlety, subtlety isn't their strongest suit. It doesn't suit, seem to be. Explosives. No wonder the Black Knife cult has grown stronger. And then, with the events of the warehouse, I... I can't... I can't imagine that that's not them. I can't imagine that that's not the Black Knife cult again. Well, one plus, at least they're down one member. A rather strong member as well. That's not gonna matter. There's a lot more where Smithy came from. Ah. And what's worse... You're involved in this now. I'm sorry to have to drag you into all this, but from what you say you saw in that house, you already have a feeling about what's going on. I have theories, and I'd rather know what I had to deal with that night, yes. Trust me, you'd rather you didn't know what you had to deal with that night, but that's neither here nor there. You're not going to get a choice in the matter. I figured as much. Long st long story short for you, they have made some terribly powerful enemies. And those enemies are going to be coming after them. In fact, I'm confident that they're going to come after them sooner rather than later. Oh, joy. However, I have a lead. It's a, it's a, it's a loose one, but it's a lead, and I'm hoping that they'll take it. If mm. they don't, I, I don't rate their chances of survival. Would What would this lead be? I'd rather not say here. I, he looks out of the window. I don't know where their servants are. Or who's watching. Make me a spot hidden roll. 30. Oh good, you do spot it then. Hmm? You look out at the way that um, Fred is looking out of the window. And on the top of a house seems to be a sort of figure. Huh. You look at it and you see a general shape silhouetted in the setting night. This figure looks like some kind of seven, seven and a half foot tall, winged gargoyle-like thing. And, yes, um, Make Fred is looking the same an way. Make me an idea roll. Idea roll. Uh, 1d100. 33. Is that a pass? Uh, I believe so, yes, it should be. You realise uh, that it's... this is not a stone gargoyle. Fred is looking the same direction. Make correct? me a sanity check. Fuck. 44. Is that a pass? Yes. You lose n one point of sanity from witnessing this thing. Okay. When you look again, it's gone. I, 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 I looked down at Fred and said, was that a gargoyle thingy on the roof then? He looks to you and says nothing. Silence speaks louder. You're going to have to help me pack, I'm afraid. I've already sent them a letter. That's fine. I hope that they'll receive it. They don't have much time. Would I be able to collect some provisions from my own house? If you have to, yes. What were, oh. you, what were you wanting me to get? Where you're going, you won't be able to take your guns with you. For fuck's sake. I'd like to take at least my lockpicks and a couple other... You know, Casual things. We can get those. We can swing by and get those. Sure. A couple changes of clothes and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just general boot um, doodads. Hey. So what do I need to pack? Pack for a long journey and take anything that you cannot live without. You may never be coming back. So that's the, probably the most um, fortuitous sounding thing I've ever heard. I think it is at that point that we shall leave it. Sounds good. You have been caught up. 
for when when the uh, main investigator group fi um, begins the next session, it will be the day after these events. <sighs> God damn it. Well, I'm happy on one side. Yeah, let's roll some uh, skill gains. Yes. Persuade. Mm -hmm. Most certainly increases. Your persuade skill is now 17%. Yay for 17. And your listen skill. Mm -hmm. That also increases. Not Eww. by a lot. It increases to 28%. 28, okay. So there you go. You've gained some more skill ups. Yay. You lost a bit of uh, sanity. Down to 80. However, I will say that from your um, excursions, you do get one sanity point back ah, for surviving. Uh, so you go back up to 81. So there you are. Well, that was um, a thing. Yeah. Perhaps you shouldn't have been poking your nose in places you weren't meant to be. Well, they started it. <laughs> Perhaps. So, I'm a thief. Poking is what I do. When we return, you shall be reunited with the investigators. Oh, how joyous. I know. I'll catch you guys next time. In a bit, guys. Later.